I'm going to be doing a TBR for the Bad of Book Readathon, which is going on this week. And I'm very excited, and I'm going to join in, obviously, because I'm doing this. But, yeah, um, I basically deleted iMovie from my phone. I'm filming this on my phone, so I can't edit this. So, yeah, um, if I make mistakes or something, just don't make fun of me, basically. I, it, it, this should be a really quick video. Even though I have a very ambitious sort of number of stuff. And most of them are mangas or graphic... All of them are mangas or graphic novels. Everything else I may read, I didn't actually put into this video. Like, if I may read it, let's just not really, you know, put pressure on it. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to show you guys the pile. Er. Yeah. Mm, so we're just gonna go into this okay so basically these are just I'm reading certain series is mostly so anyway so the first series I'm gonna show you guys that I want to read is the Tubasa series the chronic the reservoir chronicle Tubasa which yeah I'm saying it with such an American accent it's sad but it's um yeah, it's a manga series, and it's kind of, if you ever watch, it's read from the company Champ Clamp, and if you've ever watched, um, Card Capture Sakura, it's the same universe and everything, well, it's not the same universe, it's a s different universe with the same characters, so it's interesting, and it's also a crossover with a different series, which is xx Holic, and it's very cool, it's like a very cool concept that they're like, intertwined because they were written around the same time and so they actually go back and forth sometimes and it's, it's, it's just really cool anyway so um i'm gonna try to read six seven and eight and there's like i think like 40 volumes out i don't know I, i've never actually checked but i know there's a lot of volumes in the series so I'm trying to knock out three more and then I want to continue the Sailor Moon series, which I am currently reading. Um, I borrowed most of the books from the library already. I'm currently on volume 5, and I'm kind of slowly reading it because I don't have volume 6 with me. But I am going to get it tomorrow at the library because it's it's ready for me. Uh, it's on hold, and it's ready for me now. I'm so excited. So I'm going to just finish that tonight and just read these during the week. But I have... Volume 7, obviously volume 6, I'm going to read volume 6 before 7, just saying. We have volume 7, um, is this, why is it volume 8 and volume 9, volume 10 and volume 11, and it's only 12 volumes in the series, it's 12 volumes and then two short story little things, and so, yeah, so I plan to basically read most of the series this month, um, I'm probably going to... Um, put a hold on 12 tonight, but yeah, I'm trying to just read the whole, basically the whole series during this week, so we'll see, how, well half the series, because I'm halfway done, so half the series this week. And then I have two Buffy books, because you know what, I love Buffy, and yes, uh, they're graphic novels by the way, um, this is Buffy the Vampire Slayer vol volume. It's volume one, but let's see, what is it? Oh, it's season eight, volume one, Long Way Home. And so, yes, this is, I'm very excited, very, very excited for this, yep. Because I read some post volume eight graphic novels and they just didn't make fully make any sense to me. So, you know what? have to catch up on volume 8, so, I mean, season 8. Because I've watched all of, like, the Echo TV shows, but I haven't read the graphic novels. So, you know, I should do that. And then, the volume 2 of the Buffy Onibus. This is just a compilation of graphic novels, such, I guess, comics, that came out that have to do with volume volume that has to do with um, season one of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. The first volume of these omnibuses had to do with before the Buffy 
TV show, but this one has to do with the first season. And I'm very excited to read this. I'm probably gonna read this next. For some reason, I just I don't know. I just I really want to read this, so I think I might read this next. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, and hopefully you like this video. And it's not I don't know. It's not too annoying because I can't edit it. But yeah, um, if you guys notice something new, I did change my hair. I did change my hair. But it's not going to be like this for long, I don't think so. So, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. And my hair will still be brown in a lot of my videos because I pre-record a lot, just saying. I don't know if I said that already in this video, but you know what? Okay, it's fine. I'll talk to you guys later, and yeah. Bye!